Hey guys, it's Thornlock, and I wanted to come up and cover some basics that I probably should have covered in one of the first videos. But I didn't. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I lost my picks and didn't realize it until after I started making the video. And this is kind of hard to play guitar and be on video without a pick because you can't hear it. My bad. Anyway. This one I'm going to cover over some basic chords that are pretty much in every song that I know. So let's get started with that. The first one is going to be a G chord, which is literally in every song that I know in some form. Anyway, okay, you're going to take your pinky, put it on your first string. Then you're going to take your ring finger, and you're going to put it on your second string. And by the way, this is in the uh, third fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger like you're flipping someone off, like that. And you're going to put it on your top string. Now, the only part that gets different is you're going to take your forefinger and you're going to put it in your second fret, fifth string. Like so. See, so that's going to kind of how it's going to look. And it's going to make a really happy sound. Anyway, the next one is going to be kind of like that, and I can't remember the exact name of it, but I call it a C, even though I know that's not the right name. And you're just going to take these two fingers and move them down one. It's going to make a little bit of a happier sound with a more of a bass to it. The next one is pretty much just another form of that. You're going to take your first finger, move it up one string from that chord, Still on the second, or yeah, on the second fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to put it right below that one, leaving your first, your sixth string open and your third string open. Then you're going to do what's called a D chord. You're going to take your first finger, second fret, third string your middle finger, second fret, first string. Then you're going to take your ring finger, second string, third fret. It's going to make really happy sound. More of like the happier songs. But I've been known to use it in sad songs just to add a little lighter tone to it. Or when you're singing higher notes. I'm not too good at that. I wish I was. Anyway, with those strings there, you can actually play a song that I know with, you know, an A chord, which is really easy, just middle finger, uh, fourth string, ring finger, third string, pinky finger, second string super happy sound and then you know E minor which is really easy just middle finger uh, fifth string ring finger uh, fourth string index finger third string really easy nothing biggie and a lot of your strumming patterns are going to be the same, you know. I mostly use a, which is down, 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 up, up, down. Really easy. Well, guys, I hope that <clears throat> helped out a little bit. I know it wasn't that funny, but we'll work on that. Maybe we'll bring hope in again and make another one of our goofy videos while I'm trying to explain something real serious. All right, guys, stay awesome.